Indonesia and to the unfolding horror for the people who live there and for tourists after the second deadly earthquake in a week. The magnitude 6.9 quake struck sending worshippers right there running to escape a mosque. Rescuers searching the rubble for survivors. The death toll already at least 98 people. And look at this tonight. Thousands of tourists rushing to leave the islands. The crowds at the beach right there. They're trying to board boats. The airport's crowded tonight as well. ABC's James Longman reporting in. Paradise lost. Thousands crowd an Indonesian beach to find safety after its massive earthquake, which is now known to have killed at least 98 people. Hundreds more have been injured in the magnitude 6.9 quake, which hit the north shore of Lombok Island Sunday morning. Tremors felt on multiple islands. Watch as these men narrowly escape the roof of their mosque falling in. It's thought 20,000 people have been left homeless. On the Gili Islands, a fight to release this man, trapped under concrete. Now many are stranded. It's getting dark now, there's no power, there's no water. And on Bali, hotel guests ran from their rooms in panic. Rolling blackouts and damaged communications are hampering the rescue effort, with authorities warning the death toll could rise as emergency teams pick through the debris. With dozens of violent aftershocks continuing for hours afterwards, Indonesia is very much a country on edge tonight. David? James Longman with us as well. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.